Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am the Shadow Collector and today we are going to be looking at uh, one of my World War II artifacts. Now this video was originally going to have uh, two items but one of the items I am currently doing just a little bit more research on to get more of the, uh, the story behind it. Uh, so this video will actually be a two-part video which will come out later. Uh, once I get more information. Uh, but today we'll be looking at this one. And I bought it from the Gaysburg Museum of History. And it is a original World War II relic. A U.S. medical bottle recovered at Omaha Beach, Normandy, France. Uh, you know, this is just saying the, auth the authenticity of the item. Uh, signed by the museum curator, Eric Dorr. And uh, I do recommend... Uh, going to the Gaysburg Museum of History, if you ever get the chance. Uh, it's a free museum, and this man has items like you would not believe. All types of items. Uh, anywhere from Civil War, uh, World War II, even presidential artifacts. He has an amazing John F. Kennedy uh, display. Uh, but yeah, uh, also he has a website. Uh, GaysburgMuseumOfHistory.com and they also sell items which is where I was able uh, to uh, purchase this uh, along with other amazing items that you can buy uh, but yeah let's uh, let's take a look at it I have it in this box because I, I just want to protect this the best I can until I can properly display it uh, in a shadow box uh, you can see I have it <laughs> surrounded by uh, cotton swabs Trying to be careful with it. All right, and there it is. This is a uh, a medical bottle that was found at uh, Omaha Beach. Uh, now, the what I read on the website uh, was that it was found in like a um, like a pile of other medical bottles and other items, and I'm not sure who found it. But he went into the possession of the Big Red One Museum in Normandy, France. Which, again, uh, you know, you look that up on YouTube or if you ever travel to that area, uh, I recommend checking it out as well. They have an amazing uh, section, a lot of uh, D-Day items. Um, and the, you know, the, he had, the man that owns the museum, had possession of all these medical bottles. And then the Gaysburg Museum of History... Uh, acquired that collection and they were selling some of the bottles uh, they, they tend to do that a lot uh, I notice if he has a lot of one item he'll he, I think he said he keeps the best one and then he sells the rest on the uh, website but you can see that it has the dirt and the sand still encrusted on the bottle and a little bit is coming off of my glove there. Uh, and there's also this uh, clump inside the bottle. Now, I'm not sure what that is. I did look under it with a mi uh, microphone, or not a microphone, a, a magnifying glass, excuse me. And it had a little bit of fuzz on it. It, it looked like a little bit of fuzz. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure what that is in there. today. It could be just, you know, a clump of dirt. Uh you know kind of kind of encrusted in the inside of the uh on the bottle there there's a better look at it uh there's no cracks to the bottle or anything i mean it's in great condition uh but yeah j just holding this small item in my hand carries a huge story with it i mean something so small has a has a huge story connected to it uh just the the medic that was carrying this i mean storming the beach under god knows how much you know machine gun fire sniper fire artillery fire and it has no cap on it uh which most likely means it was used i'm, I'm not sure what was in the bottle, I tried to do some research on it, 
I couldn't really get an answer on what would be carried in these bottles. I'm guessing maybe morphine or, you know, it could be pills. It could be anything, really. Um, but, yeah, just the fact that the cap is missing means that it was more than likely used. Uh, you know, or, you know, it could have been dropped during the battle. Uh, you know, the cap could have been blown off. I mean, who knows? I mean, of course, if the cap was shot off of it or blown off of it, chances are this thing would be you know, obliterated. It wouldn't be in, in this one piece. Uh, so the fact that it's in one piece, but the cap is missing means it was used on someone. Uh, hopefully that person it was used on uh, survived and went on to survive the war. But who knows? I mean, it's called Bloody Omaha for a reason. Um, but yeah, just uh, when I, I got this in the mail... It's just seen even now. I've, I've had it for a, I'd say about three months. It's just unreal owning this significant uh, artifact from one of the the biggest invasions in history. Um, you know, it, it something so small carries a lot of weight with it, and. Um, it still just blows my mind that I owned something that was actually at the invasion of Normandy, let alone Omaha Beach, one of the more infamous out of all the beaches. Um, but yeah, that's uh, just one of the items that I have. I, I do have another item. It's a, uh, a camera. Uh, but I'm doing just a little bit more research, like I said, on that one. So when I get a little bit more information on it, I'll make a part two to this video. Uh, but yeah, I will. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the uh, in the case. I try not to handle it too much because I don't want the the sand that's on it to come off. I like to keep it as original as I possibly can, and it's nice and secured. I would put this this letter of authenticity in there, but it's gonna bend it, so I, I like to put it uh, on top. Uh, but yeah, I, I do recommend checking out the Gaysburg Museum of History, um, or checking out their website. Even I mean, he's been on the History Channel, Travel Channel, I, I think Discovery Channel as well. Uh, and check you know check out his website. Yeah, he has items for sale. Um, obviously some of them are not cheap. Uh, I mean, if you got the money, go right ahead. Uh, but there's some, item, some items on there that I would love to have, but I cannot afford them. Uh, but it's just amazing what he has in that museum. Uh, and in fact, I will put a link in the description to another YouTube channel called the History Underground that I also recommend. Uh, he has a YouTube series called American Artifact, and he, him, uh, the History Underground partners with the Gazer Museum of History, and they actually bring out some of the artifacts that they have, and you know, tell you more about them, give you like a little bit of a story uh, behind each item, and it's just absolutely amazing. I, I highly recommend it. Uh, so yeah, I'll put that in the uh, description as well. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video. Uh, it would have been a little bit longer, but again, like I said, I'm going to be doing a little bit more research on the, the camera I have. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the uh, next video.